With nations committed to reducing their carbon footprints, the world has to change to a smarter energy age. Part of this shift involves renewables. They attracted a record $286 billion of investment in 2015, and today almost a quarter of the UK's electricity comes from renewables. But an equally important change relates to the way commercial, industrial and public sector institutions operate. New technology and digital intelligence means it's now possible for organisations to both consume and produce energy, and to reduce their energy costs by, on average, 20% in the process. So how are these savings made? A significant portion of any power bill covers what's called third-party charges, the cost of transporting energy over the networks, policy and taxes. In 2011, this portion made up 25%. By 2016, it had climbed to 45%. By 2020, it's expected to be more than 60% of the average power bill. For energy-intensive companies with big bills, this is a powerful incentive to find efficiencies. With a relatively small investment, they can roll out LED lighting or install building management systems. With a more significant investment, they can generate their own power, a move that can be transformational. Imagine a building that is 100% energy independent. Solar panels, wind turbines and other sustainable technologies produce power during the day. Storage batteries absorb what's not needed and take over if there is not enough sun or wind. If a firm has a fleet of electric vehicles, they could store, transport and charge the energy. All the heat and power generated on site is optimised and even monetized. Large-scale producers can sell any low-carbon electricity they don't need when demand elsewhere is high. To minimise capex, companies can lease the equipment needed, although they may prefer to buy because a typical energy efficiency investment has been shown to outperform the average investment. E.ON analyzes the best solution or solutions for a company. It will manage the equipment and off-grid energy usage, identifying when it makes sense to sell electricity back to the grid. It's inevitable that the future will see energy self-sufficient communities as the network of smart users increases. As the business case becomes ever more compelling, a growing number of companies could well decide that the intelligent move is to make the smart energy leap.